So guys, in this video, I'm going to show you this Hollywood style of color grading. It's a cinematic teal and orange style color grading. This is the first grade and this is the second color grade. It's just a variation of the first one. This tutorial is going to be very easy to follow along. So with no further ado, let's get started. The first thing we are going to do, let me delete this adjustment here and start everything from afresh. The first adjustment we are going to create is the curves adjustment. So come to your adjustment layer down here and create a curves adjustment layer. Then come down here to the bottom left corner, which will present the darkest point of your image and take it up slightly to create this fading effect in the shadow portion of your image then create a point here and then bring it down to this intersecting line here create another point at the midpoint and take it up slightly just try to make these lines straight so that the curves or the exposure doesn't affect the overall tonality of the image i want it to only affect the darkest point of the image by pulling it up a little bit like this the next adjustment we'll create after this is another curves adjustment so come to your adjustment layer here and create another course uh, but before creating this second course we are going to take a elliptical marking tool and create a selection on the image like this you see this is going to create a spotlight effect this spotlight effect is going to direct the viewer's eye to the portion of the image you want the eye to go to it's like trying to tell a story with your image so you create this elliptical marking tool selection here this almost a cycle over the subject here where the model is reading the book after creating this elliptical marking tool come to the adjustment layer here and create a curves adjustment so now the selection you made will be used to create a layer max so if you take down the curves from the midpoint here like you create the, a point at the mid tone section or area of the curves if you don't know how or understand the curves this portion down here is the darkest point of the curves this portion right at the top right corner of the image is the brightest point of the curves and this midpoint here is the mid tone section so we are going to create a point at the mid tone and bring it down like this now this darkness is on this portion of the image but we want it on the opposite side of the selection so in order to do that you make sure you are on your layer max that is the cost two layer max and press ctrl i on your keyboard to invert the selection after inverting the selection like this come to your properties click on this icon or click on this properties icon make sure you're on the layer max if you're on the cost adjustment you see the cost property will show but if you're on the layer max, the layer max property will show. So now we are going to increase the feathering until the edge of the selection is feathered out. So you just move it to the right like this until the edge of the selection is feathered out. And now this effect is looking like a spotlight effect. You can adjust opacity as much as you want, but something slightly like this is okay. After this, the next selection we are going to create is the selective color. This is going to be the major adjustment that is going to target the color, the individual color in your image. So come down here to the adjustment layer and create a selective color adjustment layer. Now, click on the colors drop down and go to the white, add some cyan to the white and reduce the yellow in the white to create a greenish cyan effect now go to the black and then reduce the yellow a little bit like this 
to add some purplish blue to the black. The next thing we are going to do is to come here and go to the neutrals. In the neutrals, we are going to add some cyan to the neutral. The neutral color actually is the color in the mid-tone area. It's called the neutrals in the selective color. So adding some cyan here, add cyan to the neutral. And then you add a little bit of yellow, like you reduce the yellow, thereby adding, cooling down the cyan. And then by removing magenta, you add a little bit of green to this. You can see that this effect is affecting the whole image, which is not that desirable. So while on your layer marks, take your brush, make sure your foreground is black, and then paint on the subject skin tone to remove the effect of this selection. You can zoom in to make this more precise and remove this from the subject. Now take your time to max this out of your subject by toggling between white and black, you either review or hide the effect of the max. You get the point now. So when you are okay with this, you come to your view, click on fit on screen to return the image to its original view. So this was the before. This is the stage we are right now. If you think you want to, like you feel like to reduce the effect of the layer max, why on the layer max, click on the properties and come to the density and reduce the density. That is the effect of the layer max. By reducing it, you review more of the effect of the selective color on where it has been removed. You understand, right? If you have any question, leave it in the comment section right now. So from this stage, the next thing I'm going to create is the hue saturation adjustment layer. Create the hue saturation adjustment layer. Click on this hand picker tool and target the skin tone, which is in the red color range. And then we increase the saturation like this to boost the oranges in the image. And if you want to adjust the hue, you can use this slider. If you don't know the color you are going to get, you can just move it gradually to the left or to the right and leave it at the pleasant or the hue that is pleasing to your eye. So we are here is okay. So let's group this together and take a look at the before and the after. So why on the hue saturation adjustment, hold shift and click on the curves one adjustment, drag all these to this folder icon here to create a group. Can I name this grade one? This was a before, this is the after. So from this stage now, we are going to create a variation of this teal and orange color grading. Now you come to your adjustment and create a channel mixer adjustment. In the green, you reduce the value of the green like this and then increase the value of the blue. The major thing you are going to take note of is the total value here. Make sure it's 100. So to match, you reduce. And now you come to the, the blue here and adjust like this. Now you can see that this affects the skin tone in a funny way. It's making her skin look too 
reddish, like the red is containing too much magenta. So if you want to remove that, you create another selective color. Go to the reds and then you can now remove the magenta from it like this. And now go to the black and add some blue. Something of this level. Increase the black a little bit. Also create another hue saturation adjustment. Go to the cyan. Adjust the cyan like this. Can either increase the value or reduce it. Depending if you want to have a very vibrant image or a muted color gradient effect. So let's group this together. I rename great great two. This was the before. This is the after. Another effect you can add to your image to make it look more cinematic is to add green. How do you create that? You come to your layer here, new layer, change the mode to overlay, fill with overlay neutral color, click on OK, come to filter, noise, add noise, and then increase the value like this. Make sure the Gaussian distribution is ticked and make sure the monochromatic is ticked so that there's no color in the green. Now click on OK. Come to filter, blow, Gaussian blow and blow this out a little bit to make it look more realistic. Now adjust opacity to taste. If you want to see the effect, you zoom in. This was the before. This is the after. Now you can fit all this on screen. Let's take a general look at the before and after. This was the before. The image looking so flat and unattractive. This is the after with all focused points leading to the model. And now the color looking more pleasing and amazing. So if you have any question, you can let me know in the comment section right now. If you haven't liked this video, make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel for more helpful tip, trick, and photography tutorial. Happy to be part of your creative journey. See you in another amazing tutorial.